Hello, field sales team. My name is Tiffany LaVar, and I'm here today to talk to you about our new decorative roller shade product that's hitting stores in April. So a couple of things that we want to review first is how to measure for the new decorative roller shade machine, and then how that converts to the measurements that you're used to using on your current roller shade machine. So you will see um, there are a number of different scenarios that we're going to walk through today. We're going to start with tip to tip first because that's the one that you all are most used to hearing about and probably the most commonly used in store. So what I want to show you on the new decorative product is we are no longer going to technically be using the tip measurement on your measuring tool. So you will see on this new decorative product there is no metal tip on either side of the decorative roller shade like you're used to having with the vinyl or the solar roller shades that are currently in Lowe's. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how to convert those tip to tip measurements into BBL and cloth. So if a consumer were to come in and they were to bring in an outside mount measurement for an exact measurement of an old roller shade, what you would do is convert that to a BBL. When you're setting this measuring tool, you would use the BBL setting and that's going to give you your outside mount for exact measurement. So let's give an example. If a consumer comes in and their outside mount measurement, say from trim to trim of their window, is 30 inches wide, you would set the machine to 30 inches BBL and cut the new decorative roller shade product. And that gives you that exact size and measurement. Next, let's talk about inside mount. We know that's a very common measurement that consumers use. So when they've measured the inside of their window frame to inside of their window frame in three different places, top, middle, and bottom, you are also going to use the BBL measurement on your machine. So let's say the consumer brings in their window frame measurement on the inside is 30 inches. You would set the machine to 29 and 3 quarter inches BBL. So for inside mouth, always deduct a quarter of an inch and set it on BBL. Okay? So again, for inside measurement, if it was 30 inches, you would set the machine on BBL to 29 and 3 quarters, deducting that quarter of an inch, cut the decorative roller, and it will come out perfectly. Next, let's talk through cloth. So a consumer comes in, and they've measured, they've got an old uh, decorative roller shade, and they've measured their old cloth uh, from cloth to cloth on this decorative roller shade. And that exact measurement of their old decorative cloth is 30 inches wide. You can absolutely still use the cloth measurement on the roller shade machine and set it to 30 inches on cloth, and it will give you that exact same cloth measurement from what your consumer uh, has brought in previously. So again, for decorative cloth measurements, if a consumer brings that in, you can then set it on cloth for that exact measurement, and it will come out perfectly. Now, let's say a consumer comes in and they had a vinyl or a solar level or roller shade from Lowe's and they came in to replace that vinyl or solar uh, roller shade and they fell in love with the new decorative product. The way that converts uh, to the decorative is if they measure their old vinyl or solar cloth and that old cloth measurement on vinyl or solar was 30 inches wide, you have to add 5 eighths of an inch to your measurement and then set the machine on cloth to convert it to the decorative measurement. So for example, if someone came in and their old vinyl or solar roller shade was 30 inches wide for their cloth measurement and they wanted the new decorative style roller shade, you would set the machine on 30 and 5 eighths at cloth and cut the decorative and it will come out perfectly in relation to their old vinyl or solar roller shade. So these, all of these different uh, measuring scenarios are now called out on the new roller shade companion card for either the M200 machine or the M500 machine on the back side of the card where it speaks to decorative roller shades. So your consumers, your associates, you all will have those tools in the store to be able to train that message to your associates to ensure that they're cutting the exact right sizes on this machine. Thank you for your time. With questions, please feel free to reach out to your training partner. Thank you.